What is up guys, West Tech Gamer here to an unboxing the 2 pack above the rim DVD without further ado, let's go ahead and get started Right, now I tried to get this in DVD right because I wanted to kind of watch it again because yeah it was online before but my online sources are not working so yeah if you know what I mean right Right, I went into this with an open mind, right? I didn't go in it because it was a two-pack, because two-pack was in it, right? But two-pack does an amazing job in it. I wanted to kind of check this movie out again because this movie is such a sick movie. It is. I really, really enjoyed it, surprisingly. And you're probably wondering, why, why, why wouldn't you enjoy it? Well, I'll kind of give you my wee thoughts about it. It's because it's kind of a basketball kind of movie, and I thought I wouldn't like it. But the movie is, isn't actually kind of focused around that, you know. But it does have some basketball elements in it. But it has other themes to it. Like, I thought their main theme was going to be basketball. But they have other themes in the movie as well, which I actually really enjoyed a lot. And Tupac does an amazing job, amazing job playing his character. Like, he is definitely, like, one of the best actors, definitely. Like, he can change his character to be something, something completely different. Like, I like how he can... Like, I think his character was called Birdie, I think. I, li I like how he did that character a lot. Like, he changed himself. Like, he made himself, like, that, that mean, like, kind of... That mean person that Birdie kind of was, you know what I mean? And I liked how he kind of took that character and, you know, took it to the next level, let's say. And that's why I really liked it a lot. All the other actors in the movie are really good as well. Another thing I'll tell you right about this movie, the soundtrack is amazing, it's on point. And I know it's me kind of rambling on about it, but I kind of want to show you my thoughts on the movie, right? But the soundtrack is so sick of this movie, right? It was so sick, right? I had to get the vinyl record version of it. Trust me, it was so, so, so sick. Like, I'll do a wee quick overview of what it looks like, but that's what it kind of looks like on the inside, right? But this soundtrack is amazing. Pick up a CD version, if you can, vinyl record form. It's so sick. This soundtrack is amazing, okay? And I also got the single as well, right? This wasn't actually on the CD version or the vinyl version. These were the songs that were missing. Well, those Regulate was on it, obviously. But Pain by Tupac and Tupac Loyal to the Game Original was not on the soundtrack. So they kind of put it on an EP and put it on the singles. So that's what they did with that. If you really want me to do a video, unboxing slash reviewing these vinyl records leave a like or leave a comment and i'll do this video anyway back to the dvd before i get distracted but that soundtrack is so sick i can't stress that enough okay so that's kind of a little bit of my wee thoughts on the movie let's kind of unbox this right now okay so on the front we've got the pic we've got a picture of tupac and some of the other characters you'll see yeah that's kind of what's in the front and we've got above the rim and see some games you play and some games play you which is so true right Okay, definitely. And over here is a little bit kind of all that basketball kind of theme the movie has to it. Now, I like how, like, this is going to go a little bit off topic, right? I like how the 90s movies, like all the 90s hip-hop kind of movies, had a message behind it. And that's why I really enjoyed them a lot. Like, I, like Boys in the Hood, like, I love that movie so much. And it had a kind of a message behind it. And same with, what's that movie called? Baby Boy with Snoop Dogg in it that had a message to it as well. Like, I like how all these movies have a message to it and that's what keeps me going back because I want to see that message again and be reminded about that message. And it kind of makes you appreciate life a little bit more when you want to watch these movies, you know. I don't know if you get that feeling with these kind of 90s movies, but it kind of makes you appreciate your life even more, you know, with what you have in life. Because sometimes we do take things for granted sometimes and we kind of need a, a quick reminder of the things we have and how better off we are sometimes in life, you know. So that's why I kind of like these 90s movies a lot. So anyway, on the side, we've got Above the Rim. I'm a picture of Tupac over there. And on the back, I told you kind of a little bit about the movie right there. So I kind of let you pause that video for yourself. But yeah, that's what it is. And on the back, you've got a couple of pictures over there. It says, eye-popping basketball action puts the NBA to the shame. So we got that. And it just tells you who the producers are and everything and who the, the writers are, for example, and everything. Right, let me rub the gold. So some boxes right here. So so I was excited to go and pick this up again, you know, because it's been a minute since I watched this movie. So I thought, why not go and pick this up and watch it again, you know, because I recently got the soundtrack for the movie and I forgot how sick it sounded, you know. And that's why I had to show you guys at the start 
like how I feel about it, you know. So, so let's take a look at what we get in the inside. So over here we got the desk itself, just a plain desk that says above the rim on it, right there. And obviously over here, we just get a leaflet, right? And the leaflet just shows you a picture which was on the front. And on the back, it shows you all the scenes in the movie. So if you want to skip to a specific scene, it just shows you that right there. So that's pretty cool right there. So yeah, I really want to get this movie in Blu-ray form, but unfortunately it wasn't available in Blu-ray form to purchase. Because I kind of wanted to watch it on my new iPad Pro as well, because obviously when you buy Blu-ray, Discs, you get the code with it to put it on your devices right there. So unfortunately, it's not on Blu-ray, but I still wanted to check this out, and it wasn't that much to buy anyway on DVD. Like it's only about one pound, two pound on Amazon Prime, so not much to. It's not gonna break the bank pretty much, you know. So I definitely highly suggest you go pick this up for definitely even one pound or two pound, you know. I know like it wasn't really too much to this DVD unboxing video, but. You know, it's really not too much to it, you know, like the band of records, you know, but I did kind of give you my thoughts of it, what I felt about the movie from the start of the video, like, like I love the soundtrack of this movie, I love like all the acting in it, and I love the message behind the movie, you know, and I really liked it a lot. That's what keeps me going back to this movie, the soundtrack, the, the sick soundtrack, can't stress it enough, the, the acting and everything, everything was just on point, so I really love this movie a lot. I'm definitely going to go and check out a lot of the other two-pack movies again. Like, I did watch them before in the past, but this is me kind of going back down memory lane, back to the 90s, by watching these movies, because everything was a lot better back in the 90s. The, the movies were a lot better, the TV series were a lot better, the music was better. What wasn't better in the 90s? Tell me what wasn't better. You know, because you obviously we had Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know, Keaton and Kelly. I mean, like, those are sick, man. I miss those days so much, so... Yeah, but without further ado, that's pretty much it, the unboxing video of the two-pack Above the Rim DVD. And as I said, if you really want me to do this video on the vinyl record right here and the single, leave a like or leave a comment down below and I'll do that video for you guys right there. So that's pretty much it for this video right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time.